Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Outward. Okay guys, I had a viewer request, GN8Moon says, Something new, a guy find out how to turn on the debug menu for PC, so you can spawn in items, teleport, unlock skills, save the game, load older saves. Could you use the debug for making and testing builds? I'd love to see some from you. And after looking at some other YouTube videos, I'm seeing a lot of content creators that are actually using the debug menu to cheat their way into better builds so that they can get you that information faster. And I'm okay with that, but it's not normally something that I would do. But I will do that if you think you want me to. But no matter what, whether you want me to or not, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do it in case you want to so that you have that information. All right, first of all, guys, we're going to have to get into... This, is, this information I'm getting right now is actually from NeoSeeker. I'll give you the link to that down below in the description. So you can go ahead and you can check that out, NeoSeeker Guides. And so it is the, uh, the, uh, the debug menu, console commands, fast travel, and cheats. And what you'll do is you'll open up a notepad or, and you're going to label this thing. We're going to save this as, in all caps, debug, without putting anything in there, dot t x t and you're also going to change this from rich text format to a text document okay and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to find your game so under windows it's going to be program files 86 steam steam apps this is assuming that you have it on steam common outward and outward data so it's going to be right here you're going to save it right here and if that pops up, just click yes. Now go ahead and close out your notepad, and let's go ahead and jump in game and see if this thing worked. All right, I'm going to go ahead and you're going to go continue. I'm going to use the tester right here. Yep, sure enough, it worked. This is how you know, because all your saves, from every time it saved the game, it's right here. So it worked. So that, that according to what I understand, that's it. so this actually worked. The debug menu is now on. If you want to get rid of it, if you want to turn off the debug menu, you're going to want to go back in the way I showed you and just delete that file. That's all you got to do and then save it and then and you're good. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to reverse this, this process. It's not going to be a problem. All right. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's go ahead and go. Looks like the top one is the oldest one or the newest one. And the bottom one is the oldest one. So let's go ahead into the top one here. That's my, that's my oldest save. This is my tester, by the way. All right. So here he is. He's outside the bandit camp. I think I'm going to be okay. So if you go and hit F1, that's going to bring up your, your item spawn menu. I'm going to put all the controls down in the description as well. And you hit F1 again, it'll close out. F2 is your debug menu. So you can make yourself invincible. You can, uh, you can uh, you're affected by inventory weight, enable mana, indestructible equipment, alternative cam, uh, move speed multiplier. This is all the stuff you saw the devs do in their streams. This is how they did that. So let's see. Three is skill enable disable menu. So you can enable all the skills that you'd want to. These are all the skills available to you. All the skills available to you. All of them. I'm not going to scroll all the way down. Then F3. Oh, that was F3. F4 is your quest menu. I don't see that though. It's not coming up. Wait, there it is. Took a second. So these are your quest menu. Neutral side quests. Tutorials. Sierzo. These are my current quest events, looks like. And then there's another number of hotkeys that I'm not going to go into. But like with the, items, uh, the, the spawn menu, if I want to spawn a tree, I spawn one, I spawn a tree. But that's not a tree. What the heck? So I'd be very careful about what you do in this, in this, in this game because like this item right here, it said tree. But all it is is a white block. So I don't know exactly what that's all about. Let's see. Can I chop this tree down? I can't do anything with that tree. So I would be very careful about what you do in this game, which is one of the reasons why I'm hesitant to use it. So, but if you want to use it, you can. Obviously, there's a lot of YouTubers that are, and, and streamers and whatnot that are using this to get, you know, get bypass a lot of the grind of the game. So I'm kind of curious as to whether or not you want to see me use it. I'll, pre I'll, I'll check it out and we'll, we'll use it to, to make some builds if you'd like. But if not, then we won't. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You let me know in the comment section below what you think. Um, this is how you turn it on, and, um, and then, like I said, if you want to turn it off, you just delete that file. 
But I'm going to leave it on for now, and I'll wait your response. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.